Hello everyone and welcome to the interview to the winner of Sustainable Toti 2021. Sustainable Toti is the category of Tractor of the Year awards that takes into consideration the sustainable approach of the tractors in competition. And when we talk about sustainability, it is not only about emission levels, which are ruled by international law, but it's pretty much more about new technologies, such as big data analysis, internet of things, intelligence of things, digitalization, together with new types of engines, such as gas, hybrid, or electric engines. And I mean, how all of that technology is making modern tractors more efficient, more safe, more reliable, more connected, more effective on soil protection, and less polluting. And the tractor that we're talking about today is the winner of Sustainable Toti 2021. He is Class Axion and 160 Simos. And today we have in connection from Germany, Mr. Martin von Heuningen Hünen, head of Class Tractor Division and member of the Class Group Executive Board. Hello and welcome. Hello, Mr. Samaretti. Great to be with you. Thank you. Thanks for your time and thanks for being here. So let's start from the first question from you. We can say that production can no longer ignore the concept of sustainability. And as we just said, Axion 960 has won the Sustainable Toti 2021. So the question is, what this award means to class? Well, as you can imagine, this is a great distinction for us and especially also our class tractor business. We are working permanently to increase the efficiency of our machines and of the whole farming process. And sustainability does not only mean what you mentioned correctly, to deal with alternative drives, but also to improve processes that are daily business for most of the farmers and contractors. The impact of this solution is so impressive, not only in terms of reduced fuel consumption, but also in the effect of the reduced emissions. And this impact acts today, not tomorrow. It works for every Arion 500, Arion 600, and Axion 800 with thematic transmission, as well as for the Axion 900 and the Axion TerraTrack with CBIS Touch Terminal. It can also be retrofitted, which makes this system even more sustainable. All this is combined with reduced soil compaction and a teaching effect on the driver. And it's a self-learning system, which is absolutely unique in our business. All in all, this shows that there is still a high potential to increase sustainability in existing technical environments, such as machines with combustion engines. All right, thank you. Let's go to the second question for you. So how much the project of SEMO system has been affected by the requirement for a solution that from one hand has to increase the performance on field and on the other hand has to be an environmental friendly solution? Yeah, that's a really good question, uh, Fabio. So um, our aspiration was to follow the SEMA theme, which is doing more with less, which is the motto of our industry uh, as a whole. So only reducing, of course, fuel consumption and emissions is pretty easy, right? You just have to drive slower and you see the effect. The challenge is really to reduce the energy input, input and at the same time increase the productivity, so the output per hour. This is much more complex and this was really our challenge because farmers and contractors, they need productive machines, they pay for every horsepower and they wanna use it. So for us, it was a self-evident target to develop and offer a solution that improves efficiency as well as productivity. All right, now we get to the last question for you. So do you believe that data collection by tractors and agricultural machinery in general terms would have an effect on the traceability of products and therefore, as a result, on their value too? Well, first of all, yes, of course, in general terms, that's the case. However, I think we have to distinguish between different ways of collecting and using the data. So for example, CMOS for tractors collects and evaluates data permanently. In this case, we do not need to store and document them since we are working on a, if you want, small cycle on the machine. So the data is evaluated immediately and leads to an optimized machine setting. So no need to store or document those data. However, in other cases, it can make sense to collect data and use them later. In some cases, it's even necessary. We have therefore to defer between long-term agronomical data, which can be transferred by a system such as class telematics and stored on digital platforms like 365 FarmNet and short-term more process relevant data, such as what we use for CMOS. The data always has a worth 
and a value for the owner of the machine, but evaluation of the data must be simple and fast, and it should work automatically where it's possible. In addition, for Class as a European company with strong roots in Germany and France, it is very important that we respect uh, the European data protection laws. And uh, for that reason, for example, all our data is hosted in Germany. So we think it's important to find a good balance in protecting the data and then when the customer wants it, providing him the most effort out of this data so that his work gets the most simple possible. And again, CMOS there is a fine example because this is exactly what it does. All right, thank you for this wide explanation. Let me also say that it was my great pleasure meeting you and having this chat with you today, especially in these tough times that we cannot meet personally. Yeah, thank you, uh, Mr. Samaretti. Yeah, it's tough times, I think, for, for all of us, for our customers, for the industry, for the dealers. The only good thing is that tractors are demanded at the moment. So all our teams, and I think that's true for competition as well, are working very hard, uh, given the difficult supplier situation, to get our source tractors to our customers as fast as possible. All right. Congratulations again to Class, champion in charge for the category Sustainable 30 2021. Thanks again to Mr. Martin von Heuningen Hühne, head of Class Tractor Division and member of the Class Group Executive Board. Thanks to our audience. Stay tuned on Toti's web channels because more news are about to come. And most of all, the challenge for Tractor of the Year 2022 is about to begin. Thank you.